Hello everybody, time for another Ask Tracy. This is number three. Uh, this question is, and I, this is one I really didn't think would get asked, uh, but I've gotten it a few times. So they're saying, why do I need or why do I have a computer in my greenhouse? Uh, go back to another video you can see uh, I do have a computer mounted on the wall of the greenhouse uh, it's to the side of kind of away from everything uh, it's basically twofold work and play like a lot of other things uh, not really I shouldn't say play I've never played games or anything like that but I should say entertainment when I am inside the greenhouse working I have music going, I got podcasts going, I got radio shows going, streaming, uh, audio books going. Uh, it's just a nice entertainment machine when I'm working in the greenhouse. It's great. Uh, stream music for a while. Uh, I'm a real big fan of audiobooks and podcasts, so I listen to a lot of them in there. And uh, uh, I, I'm, you can. If you know me more than 20 minutes, uh, there's a few things you know. You know I like Linux, and you know I like hockey. So uh, I stream a couple radio stations from Canada, a couple TSN radio channels, so I can just they actually talk hockey, so I can actually uh, find out what's going on, just listen to it. So that gives me the opportunity to do that besides a regular radio. And secondly, uh, if you're in your greenhouse and you need to order something, you need to get something, right there, right then there, I go over, I order it, and I get it. You know, uh, something, because there's always something, shoot, I, when I was inside, I forgot to order this piece here. And you just keep forgetting, then I just go do it. I don't have to worry about it. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, besides that, is information. Uh, it, it's... There's wealths of information, you know, online. Uh, one of the biggest is plant deficiencies. Uh, it, it, I don't have to do it as much anymore. Uh, if you want, a, if you're in aquaponics or hydroponics, uh, and it's it's like a buck or two, yeah, one to three dollars. I forgot. It's real cheap. Uh, Bright Agrotech has a colored chart for plant deficiency go buy it unbelievable it, it guides you through what's going on with the plant and tells you what the actual deficiency is so but if you don't want that you can uh, grab the leaf or something go online and start trying to find out what the deficiency is uh, you can also look information up about uh, have a fish die uh, you see something weird on the gills, because anytime a fish just singly dies, I inspect it. Uh, one time I found it, and I forgot what it was. Something with the gills was funny, and I right then and there, I Googled it and uh, found out uh, that it had possibly some parasite. So they said, the rest, if you have any other fish in the tank, add something to it. I forgot what it was no other problems. So besides that, you get all the information you need to look up. It's very handy <coughs> having a computer right then and there. Uh, it, it's, it, it's, and here's where I have an advantage. I used to own a computer shop. Uh, I could just do it myself. But my biggest pet peeve with computer store owners and com people that sell computers is they oversell computers that people need. The PC I have in my greenhouse is called the Simple PC. And it's $89. What they do, and it's got Linux. You don't have to be a brain surgeon to use Linux. If all you're doing is online stuff, you're good to go. You can use Linux. <coughs> if you have specialty apps, you might have to get Windows. But with this $89, they go into these large companies and they buy all these PCs and they remanufacture them. They take it out, put it in their custom case, and 
in that case, uh, you, you get a minimum spec. So when you boot up the PC, it might say HP, it might say Dell, so forth, so forth. Uh, the one I have says HP, but it has Linux on it, not Windows. But it boots up to a desktop. If you don't know it, that you know, you guys boot up desktop, use Chrome or Firefox for your browser and you're good to go. That's all it is. You don't have to spend a lot of money. So speakers I got were 20 bucks. I got those free, but if you were to go buy them, they're only 20 bucks. Sound good? Um, I did spend $20 on a new cordless keyboard and mouse, just so I have less wires. Make it a little neater, but you don't need that. So you don't have to overspend, and this is where if you get a new PC, you can take your old PC and bring it out to the greenhouse. Good to go. <clears throat> I did get a little adapter to boost the Wi-Fi signal. Just a little tiny Wi-Fi booster. I did that and I plug it in the greenhouse to uh, strengthen my signal in the greenhouse. That's all I did. And uh, Networking is really easy. If you don't know how to do it, it's really, really easy. Uh, you don't have to pay somebody to run a network. Uh, quick Google or YouTube video will show you how to run a quick network line into your greenhouse as long as it's under six, seven hundred feet somewhere in there away from where your house and your router is, you're good to go. So that's it. That is why I have a computer inside a greenhouse. Uh, information, uh, entertainment, and ordering. So it just saves me time. That's it. Again, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Please like the video. Uh, thanks everybody for liking and subscribing. Everybody have a good day, a good week, and uh, thanks again.